Hey, soul survivors, this is a topic request from a viewer. So I don't normally get spiritual or religious, but uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be doing Bible verses, things like that. But in response to her, um, I am a Christian and here we go. I don't feel loved by God because God doesn't didn't heal me yet. I want God to make things possible for me. I want God to restore the enemy had taken from me. That's a narcissist. So she says, I'm reading the Bible, going to church, helping others, praying, going to counseling, taking psych meds, exercise, deep breathing, listening to positive music, etc. So it's great that she's still going to counseling. Um, I believe she's borderline and she had told us that. So when we're, when I'm hearing her words um she's wanting god to heal her and we have to understand that god works in uh certain ways he's not just going to heal you it's part of the learning process and it can be quite painful because a lot of times we just want a quick fix and so she is taking some steps but as far as going to church is she in fellowship with the people uh is she understanding the message and taking that with her and really applying it to her life we get a lot of great things from church but do we necessarily apply it also if you believe in god that it's this super divine entity that is so amazing on the the things that were created uh i mean if you look at even just the human body or all, all these things that were provided um as far as minerals and things like that that we can utilize to have uh for one thing the knowledge to figure out how to make medications all these things that you know the world is beautiful and uh intricate so if a creator for one thing can create you and you know uh love you um you know with the different religions i don't want to get into too much as far as jesus but whatever your religion is or what you believe um that you know god does love us and you know we call him the father things like that that you know sometimes saying no to a child is necessary and we don't always get what we want but he wants you to heal and a lot of times sometimes if we're not coming closer to him that he can create um things that will cause you to seek out for his love so she's saying i don't feel love from God because he didn't heal me yet. So she's saying, I don't love God because he didn't do it on my timing. And sometimes we have to realize that we have to put the work in, um, you know, praying, uh, what are we praying for? Are we praying for fix this, bring this person back into my life? Uh, or are we saying, you know, I'm praying for guidance or, um, the opportunities to connect with people are we praying the right way is it gimme 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 or are we thankful for the things that we do have so she says i want god to make things possible for me and we have to also pay attention to some of the possibilities that have been brought to us we have to seek out uh, or understand they had that one analogy of you know these people wanting god to save them and they're i guess we can use it this way where they're on the top of a, a house and the whole area is flooded and they just want god to save them so they had the small little boat and they're telling the people no we're, we're waiting for god to save us and then another boat comes by that's a little bit bigger and then a third boat and then they end up talking to god like why didn't you save me and he's like I sent those boats for you. So sometimes we want something in a certain way that we don't see what we're supposed to see. And when you have a mental illness, it's hard to see things. And we get down on ourselves or um, 
feeling helpless. Uh, we tend to think more negative if we have a mental illness. So we got to strengthen ourselves to realize that we are worthy of God's love. And if we're doing things where we're not worthy, we have to stop doing it because it's going to cause us to feel guilt or shame or to hide and run from our spirituality. And God wants us to trust him. And in these statements, she's not trusting God. And that's where it's a conflict that, you know, you want something and God does too. He wants us to trust him. And that's part of the lesson of learning to trust God. So he wants you to trust him. He wants you closer. And by you not trusting him, you're at a distance. So my take on this is if you're spiritual, that these kind of lessons are meant to bring you closer to God. Because life on earth is temporary. And if you believe in heaven, heaven is forever. So to go through a little bit of pain now, to put your trust in God, and that gets scary sometimes when we don't know always what our purpose is. So maybe you can pray, what is my purpose in this life? You know, um, pray who you should connect with or, you know, uh, helping others is good. You know, that can feel good to help others, but it's also okay to ask others to help us. So going to counseling, are you putting in the effort or the suggestions that they've done? If you're supposed to be journaling, are you journaling? Are you being 100% honest with your counselor so they can help you the best that they can? Or are we still maybe coming from shame where we don't want to open up enough? So it's good that you're on your medications if they're helping you. Do you feel you're on the right kind of medications? Are there contraindications, which means side effects? Exercise is good. Are you also getting enough sleep? But there's a lot of things that you're doing and we have to rewire our brain. And it's it's not going to be a quick fix. God is not going to just, you're healed. And understand that my my take on this is God wants you closer. God wants you to trust him. And... God wants you to feel his love for you. And do you feel that love for yourself? God created you. And when we feel lonely or feel unlovable, because nobody's in our life, that we need to lean on God during those times. If you know the footprints in the sand, where that is when God carried you, when you only saw one pair of footprints. It wasn't you walking alone. It was you being carried. So right now, he has his arms around you. And he's telling you it's going to be okay. Sometimes it's hard to go through the difficult healing process. But it you know, when you're a victim of the narcissistic abuse that she's been talking about in other comments, um, it takes a while to get your self-esteem back up. And we have to do the self-care. God's not going to wash my hair for me. God's not going to, you know, make me eat healthy. That's a choice. God gave us free will. Are you making the best free will choices? Are, are you... Um, just down on it and giving up on yourself because the self-love is not giving up and the uh, this is like a mind shift that 
is healthier or a way to get healed quicker, we can be thankful to God and focus on, you know, I woke up today. Um, you know, I only have $20, but that's all I need. That's enough gas to get me to work. Things like that, that we look in the positive as opposed to the doom and gloom. So I, I understand where she's coming from. God hasn't healed me yet. But if you can change your uh, mindset, and that's hard to do, especially if you have borderline or other mental illnesses or, you know, depression, things like that, that we focus on our blessings instead of the things that we don't have. And as soon as we start focusing on the blessings, we're going to feel blessed. If we focus on the things that we don't have yet, or may never have, God could say no to certain things. But instead of looking at things that are going to depress us, um, whether you don't like what weight you're at or, or whatever it is, um, or you don't like the house that you have or the job that you have, you know, that you can take it for what it is, change what you can, accept what you can't, and never stop giving up on yourself. So God's hearing, you know, in a sense that, you know, you're not trusting the process and it will work out if you trust the process. So I'm here to help you, but you want God to restore the, what the enemy had taken from you. God's probably putting people in your life. Are you dismissing them? God's probably giving you uh, good information, uh, led you to a certain therapist or maybe this YouTube or other YouTube channels. Um, you know, uh, are you filling your cup or are you waiting for God to do it? The more you invest in yourself, the more pride you will feel in yourself. And that's part of the learning is how to self-love, how to self-love and self-soothe. So I hope that was helpful. Keep reading that Bible, but also try to understand it and apply it and trust in God. And a lot of times we get mad at him. We don't always know the purpose. but never give up on yourself. So keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a lot of good things, but this is a faith thing. If you believe in God, you know, you say you don't feel his love. There's so much love in this world um, that he has given us. You know, the, the beautiful days that we have, the uh, food that we can grow, even if we don't pick it, we can buy it. But that's love. We weren't just plopped on this earth with an inability to access resources. He gave us so much. And, you know, we can be thankful for trees. We can be thankful for, uh, you know, having free will and and just the way our mind um can absorb uh scholarly things and it can absorb you know the messages so love yourself and you know uh do a little little soul searching are you just mad at god because I think you're just mad at God. Um, or is it that you don't don't think he loves you? I know you said I don't feel his love. Uh, but do you see his love? And maybe that will help you feel it more. So I hope that was helpful. Comment below and I'll see you in the next video.